Hey y'all. On my Imagitorium Aquarium, 39 litres, that you get here from Pet Barn at Oz, uh, on my first tube it was a setup of the substrate and how I, you know, virtually showed you guys just setting it up, basically. And uh, the second tube was uh, with the plants and whatever else I had done uh, to establish and putting in the fish tank. So this is my third tube. So, and as I said in my second one, I was going to update you guys when I did something with my uh, aquarium. And this tube here is to give you an update of what I've done, what I've been doing, and what I've found out since. Okay. So, and as I said, I, I had a snail in here and uh, a mystery snail. And I thought, you know, this substrate would be suitable. But today when I went into my local aquarium, um, and this lady, I, I, I deal off with my, my fish and, you know, plants and whatever else. She's an expert at it, so she's not spinning any yarns. And she was to say that this is great, it looks wonderful, but if you keep snails um, then or shrimp, they can die because of the iron that comes out into the water. It won't affect um, any of the fish but it will affect snails and shrimp. So there you go. So that's one reason why I shouldn't be using it. But like I said, this, this aquarium here now is totally established. So if anything, I'll, I'll just get bigger and better now. I mean, I've got aquarium fever, as one would say, you know, once you see it all set up. And sitting there over night time and looking, looking at all the plants and all the fish, um, is really beautiful and as long as your water's clean and whatever else it's 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 so relaxing it's not funny but anyway so I'll get on to what I was doing now look I have brought some plants I brought this big one here at the back okay I don't know the name of it but I will find out and I will let you guys know but that's an aquarium plant okay now this is a real I got this less than eight dollars at my local aquarium Okay, and this lady is not greedy. She doesn't just want the money and give you a piddly little bit of weed and you think, oh, and it goes all the way down, right down there, and I planted it. If you can see that rock just there, it's underneath that, and it goes all the way up, as you can see, and it's lovely. So I brought that today, and that's really, really helpful, camouflage, and, you know, not that the fish need it, but it looks so nice sitting there in the back. And as... You guys are kind of getting a bit of a gas. what sort of a scenery I want. I want, you know, lush green, you know, background coming back with more plants at the back and more room in the front for the plants, uh, you know, the fish to move around and whatever else. But that's what I've done and that's what I'm doing. That's my landscape little idea. And I brought another rock today. Yeah, that is really lovely. Nice piece of rock. So I could actually... Put it there and see this that's moss okay so i needed something for my moss and other plants and my grass there to grow and that looked really nice it was a small little bit and it didn't invade too much um space there so i got that today and that grows really well with the plants too and this little terracotta pot you buy them on ebay five for a couple of dollars which i've done but I brought this one today with um, a Java plant. I think they call it Java, Java fern, Java plant. And, uh, and that was less than $8. So, you know, I put that in there and, you know, they sit well, they sink well. They look attractive. They look really lovely. And I got some moss today. I didn't have to buy that, which a piece like that from eBay, no kidding, is around about $10, which is ridiculous, really. But anyway, I was I was lucky enough to be given a heap of moss today by uh, this lady that I buy my fish and whatever else off. But anyway, that's in there. And this last, my second last tube uh, was uh, when I just put this in. And I did show you guys, but ever since then, look, it's really come on. It's really a versatile weed to work with. It's carpet grass. And only ha I got this off eBay, $5 for, you know, five centimetre in length um piece of they call it carpet grass so and she's just taken off as you can see it's really healthy and so i just put her in the front there 
So, and I want it to grow along the substrate, which is it's actually doing, and you can see the moss is coming on really well. And uh, my bonsai tree that I got off eBay, which was a ripple because you can make your own. This cost me $40, the actual branch, and, you know, and the only thing is that you have to stick these little platforms on the prongs, you know, your little pieces of, um, you know, uh, <laughs> stems hanging out. Collect it, you know, from your river or whatever else and boil your wood and have fun. That's what I intend to do. But anyway, so I wrap, you know, moss and whatever else to get that effect of it growing around a tree, which looks all right to me. Okay. So, and as you can see, I've just got wood there. And this is the piece of moss I was lucky enough to get today. And that's a heap. And the plants, uh, the fish love it. It's really healthy. So, and my tank's looking really homey for them, as you can see. And I got some more. They're not tetras. They're the family to tetras. They're, the, they're the different type of tetras. I got two of them today. So, and see you, Builder. I asked the lady about that today. She said, no, that's a good, good indication that you've got a strong flow going through your, your little, you know, your little thing that comes out with the water spout. She said, and you can tell. When that, this here is not working, when this here is not working and spitting out the water, which it should be doing. Where are you? Where is it? Oh, underneath there. Then that'll let you know because that'll just die down to the bottom, so... That's a good indication your filter's working, she said, so, and uh, the water's looking pretty good. So that's what I've done, and I'll just take you around the side, and I've got some more of this weed today, just a common aquarium weed that looks nice. The fish like going around in it and doing whatever, hiding in it, and they've got, as you can see, a little log there, and underneath there is a hiding spot for the mollies, the baby mollies, but they love it some tetras and, uh, and I'll just put that down there so you can see what I've been doing and all the grass at the back I've made a section here I'll move my other plants and plant mud but anyway I made a little section at the back here for heaps of other plants like grasses and whatever else to actually grow so if there are any fish that give burp or is fry or, or even you know, my idea was to get shrimp, but I'm not doing that now because of the substrate. So, you know, this just gives a good area that the fish can escape from and just, you know, pick up what they need to and it just grows and quite healthy as you can see. Yeah. Anyway, there's another rock there, which I, I, I think is good because the fish have got so many places to uh, hide and do what they want to do in peace nobody's on top of one another so and the temperature temperature is fine wonderful so there you go uh that's funny because i thought my snail might have died because of the temperature but no but if you can't see it's between 27 and 26 good temperature for aquarium for these type of fish the whole thing so and it's a funny thing because you really have to play with the temperature i'm telling you but anyway that's my little thing and I just thought I'd take you around the side just you know I have an air stone there you need that water and you need to aerate that so but anyway that's what I've been doing that's my tank so just thought I'd let you know that uh, it's worthwhile you know, aquarium's worthwhile if you're willing to put in the time and effort. Uh, it, it's so rewarding of a night time. I just sit here and think, ah, well, tonight's a special night because I've added more and there's more greenery and there's a few more fish, like I got that male guppy today. I was going to get a Siamese, but they're a bit finicky. Maybe for my next big 10K, guys. But anyway, I like to get community fish. You've got to get community fish, guys. But anyway... So there you go, my little setup's beautiful, I think. Yes. But anyway, before I go, um, as you can see, I've been working with pieces of wood. Okay, now, I just wanted to let you see, I'm soaking two pieces. I got this piece today that stands up. 
I won't stand up there. And I've got that piece. Okay, which is two nice aquarium pieces. But I'm soaking them because, and not, well, a lot of the brown stuff hasn't come off. I'm really amazed. But uh, I soak them. Uh, I'm in no hurry to actually put them in the tank yet because I actually want to soak them for a while. And then once I get my aquarium glue, um, do another tube and be able to put weed on. Um, so, yeah, so that's a good thing. Sorry, you guys, I was interrupted by one of my daughters coming in. But anyway, like I was saying, with the wood, I'm soaking it and then I will bind moss. Uh, the moss that you've seen in the tank will go on one of these logs and uh, go into the aquarium. So hopefully, right, that um, this tube um, may have to go on separately because I, I'm not good at editing and I don't know how to join the two, you know, trim it, do whatever you do. So it might have been interrupted, but this is a follow-up of the tube. As I said, I was interrupted doing my tube for you guys. But that's the wood anyway, and that's what I'm doing. Soaking for a while, no hurry to get it in the aquarium, and then I'll buy moss. But as I said, I'm waiting for my aquarium glue, uh, which I'll have in the next week or two, and I'll be able to glue the plants or whatever else on these pieces of wood. So there you go. So, and also, I just wanted to know, let you guys know, sorry, is that I was working with Tropical Flakes from Coles. Look, no offence, this is a good emergency backup, but it's no, nothing, there, there's no no nutrition in it for the, the fish at all, um, which is a bit of a, ugh, because uh, I was reading up, how they actually make it and that's not no it's not too healthy but anyway if you need it to back up which i've got a back up which i said to the lady i as i said i i buy my fish off she said what you can do in conjunction is use that and i also got these today um but only with these be very careful because i put a few on my team and if you do too many it will cloud and stink your water so what i intend to do is ground them um, a little bit so it goes to powder but I may end up changing uh, the food for them because I don't know whether I like this or not uh, but anyway so do be careful in particular about your food and LG wafers this is the ones I use not for those little white sucker fish but for the plateau um, uh, but the plateau I mean it gets plenty of food it's not starved it's got some algae it's got the wood and whatever else so going good so that's my little update for this time um i hope you really enjoyed it as i said i'm not a fish person i don't do tubes on fish but you know i do other you know other topics on my channel um but while i'm doing this and while i'm creating something beautiful i share it with you guys and i thought well you know it might be useful it may not be but if you're working with this tank as i said which I brought, and I, I went to look up information on the tube, they're fine, there was nothing, it was useless. So I thought, well, everybody gets a new team, you know, people aren't aware of or haven't seen it on tube, so I update that, so that's what I've done. But until next time, happy fishing, um, and as I said, when I get more updates, whatever else, and I think there's something that's worthwhile for you guys to actually see, I'll upload another tube on my aquarium. But anyway, happy aquarium um, hobby going, guys, and uh, look after yourself. And till next time, bye, y'all.